and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Croxa. That's right, we have a, a Grixis mid-range deck kind of focused on discard. We got uh, all four Thought Erasure and all four Agonizing Remorse. Both of those cards are really good. Um, but we'll see how we do with eight of those discard spells. And those kind of help clear the way for Croxa. We got four Croxas in here. Um, you know, again, being more discard. We, like, so what we're trying to do is just empty our opponent's hand. And then also, you know, like these discard spells, of course, go to the graveyard. So help fill the graveyard and uh, make it so that we get to escape. Um, besides that, we have discovery also fills the graveyard. And then our opt is like our, our fifth discovery, basically. Um, so yeah, we can kind of get some cards in the graveyard, Rampage, you know, then just removal spells like Rampage, Bedevil, get in there and, uh, you know, help get us our Croxes back. Because we have Thought Erasure and Discovery, we have eight Surveil cards. There's We actually got a couple of Blood Operatives in here being a, a threat that we can uh, put back into our hand after we Surveil. Um, and then Enter the God Eternals, we're going to be milling ourselves, of course, with this card. We'll mill ourselves for four mill over Croxes and give Croxes some fuel. Um, and then we just got a couple of Nicobolas at the top end and a couple of Sweepers to kind of go along with it. So this will be pretty interesting trying it like a full-fledged Croxa deck out and see how we do. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do not want to run into Null Hyperox. That's for sure. All right, so here we go. Let's give it a try. So we're, you know, this is a donation deck. So we're going to be playing it through a league. We're going to play till we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. So here we go. Um, I guess, yeah, Agonizing Remorse exiles, right? Yeah, so it doesn't discard. So yeah, I guess Agonizing Remorse would exile Nullhide Ferox. Yeah, full playset of a of a Titan. This is gonna be the first yeah, first time I'm playing a deck with a full playset of a Titan. Mulligan. I don't know what we put back from this. I guess discovery. Where do we put Croxa back? I don't think we can put a land back. I mean, so it'd be like this, and then we don't have any red mana for Croxa. I guess that, that could be fine. I guess we could probably find red mana with the Discovery. So actually, yeah, that, that could be fine. Yeah, it is pretty greedy. So I'm going to Remorse before Thought Erasure because there's we don't really need to Surveil for something this next turn. No, I did not want them to play that War Boss. Possible we need some more sweepers in here. That doesn't do anything. With us having so many cards that don't affect the battlefield. With all the discard and the discoveries. I'm already dead, aren't I?
figured out that they should attack. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to need these Cry of the Carnariums. And we're just going to take out just gonna take out these blood operatives. All right, I think this will work. Let's try this. The sleeve of the two cross swords, yeah, that was a a sleeve that you could get from playing a um, a paper event. Um, it was like an in-store, it was a store event. I really felt like keeping that. I mean, this deck already has four discoveries, so like the one, there's just one opt, which honestly maybe should be. Uh, what's the the blue card instead of opt? But I guess opt goes to the graveyard. Why didn't I just cast discovery there? Discovery's not an instant. What am I doing? Um, yeah, Omen. No, it was it was like a, just a thing for just like one weekend. Don't know why I wanted this mountain on top. I should have gone to the bottom. That game was definitely about them drawing that, that third land on turn three. But if they didn't, you know, we would have been able to Thought Erasure the other war boss and our life would have been better. Yeah, I should not have kept that mountain. Castle Ardenvale is going to be tough to beat. But we'll take the four for one and go on from there. In the sorcery speed. I don't know, but I like it.
I kind of want to just do Cry and then cast Bone Crusher Giant. So I can get that going. So the next turn I can, you know, play this as a 4-3 and, and kill a 4-4. Four, four. I guess I could have just cast Ritual of Sit and passed to get Ritual of Sit out of my hand. Wish I would have brought in Freaka's Libation to get rid of this enchantment. This isn't good. Whenever, you know, we got that four for one earlier and now we're just, just those getting drowned out. Do we have a field of ruin? Yeah, Ashiok would be nice being able to bounce this thing. I just, I don't have any answer to this. We need like our, you know, obviously we need Croxa. And... <clears throat> Croxa to outgrind him. Or just to outrace, I mean. Yeah, or dispersal. Yeah. We can clear their hand and dispersal, but then we. We're still just dying to four fours. All right. Oh, and one. I feel like we need more planeswalkers, more card advantage. You know, if we had Nicol Bolas on turn five that game, that would have been a lot better. More Nicol Bolas and Ashiok. Yeah, Dispersal can do a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff. There's the Croxas. Where were you at last game, Croxa? We need to bring you back. So I think I'm going to get Mountain with the Fabled Passage to turn on Bone Crusher Giant. So with Mountain Swamp, I'm going to get rid of the Opt. Yeah, 
Crocs I was on a dinner break. We exile that and Bone Crusher Giant, the Risen Reef. Really hope we draw a land this turn. Because obviously I have to cast Bone Crusher Giant this turn. Can't let them Thassa keep bouncing it. Nah, no land. I like incentivizing them to play Thassa. Well, good game. That was the best card for them to draw again. So then this story so far. Yeah, Cavalier Thorns is just absolutely perfect. Surprised they're not just playing Thassa and then just bouncing Cavalier, getting another land into play before playing the Krasis. Where's the land? So we have Whirlwind Denial to help stop Krasis. Um. I don't like Blood Operative at all. Yeah, that, could, that doesn't really do anything. Angrass Rampage isn't good. Neither is Enter the God Eternals. Do we, do we just bring in Chemistry's Insights here for some card? Draw cards? We don't have any, like, sweepers. Hmm. Okay, we're just all right. We're supposed to play operative. What what would you what would you want me to take out here, uh, Korean? What do you what would you want me to take out? Take out rampage. Rampage is good against Nissa, but that's about it. It's not good against um, Tamiya, if they have Tamiya. All right. That's good. All right, so we need to discard Nissa. Gotcha. kind of all the stuff in their deck we need to discard. <laughs> Hopefully we get more of our more of our discard spells. Well, we have lands. I guess we I don't know. I guess we keep. So we actually have good mana and just hope we draw into discard spells. 
I don't know. This hand's probably not winning. I should bowl again. This hand's not doing a lot for us either. We'll give this a try though. We'll put back into the God Eternals. Rampage just on turn two can just get rid of a mana creature maybe and slow him down. And then hopefully, you know, like we get to cast Discovery on our turn to look for a discard, and then Rampage there. So they're on a mold of five. And then uh, get rid of the mana creature. Don't need those. Don't really need that either. that either. Still have to shock to play Blood Operative, but that's not the big deal. That's not that big of a deal. Alright, that Rager. Uh, guess we take a Jellyfish. Still don't need that. Yeah, I mean, I'm planning on exiling the Titan. Ooh, but we drew. All right, we need another Black Source. Drew Nickel Bolas, though. Let's go. Can't bring back Uro yet, and so we'll we'll play Uro or we'll play this and exile the Uro. Yeah, Nickel Bolas is definitely our best possible top deck. Like that, doing that first, they can't just you know exile like one of their two twos. But I guess now they can uh, bring back a row. You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Or they can't bring back a row yet. Kruxa. So this went really well. Opponent molded five, and we had Nicol Olas on turn five. Perfect. They don't. They have the green castle, not the blue ones. So they don't get to scry. 
So they're just at their draw steps. So we should have this from here with the help of Nickel Bowl's Dragon God. All right. I'm going to put in another Rampage and take out an Edge of the God Eternals because the 4 damage just doesn't kill that much in their deck. But I like that you know, removal for their turn 2 mana creature. You know, want to kill their mana creature on 2, not kill their mana creature on 5. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, Edge of the God Eternals is not, not very good here. <clears throat> Alright, we'll lead with Remorse cause, because of Uro. Like, we may be taking Uro on turn two. They have a good hand against me. I'm not keeping that land because it's not a third black source. Because if we find Nicol Bolas, we need a third black source. So there's no reason to keep that land. But I guess it was another a second red source for Croxa. Out of the land. The same thing game one that happened, just the drawing that Cavalier Thorns. We need to exile. Yeah, yeah, you can sacrifice Croxa to the oven before, like, with the sack trigger on the stack. And get two food. Pretty sweet life.
So killing Cavalier of Thorn now means they probably put something back on top, and then they play the Uro and draw it into their hand, and then maybe we can... Um, make them discard it. I don't know how we ever beat the Uro. Yeah, we also we also never did that in the five matches, Dark Claw. That actually never never happened. Um, I guess I, I had like one chance that I could have, but I I forgot about it. Um, but Cauldron Familiar is just is in the deck to help burn down the opponent. Like that's you know it's a burn deck, and so Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, just helps burn them down. Wish we had Noxious Grasp. They have the Green Castle, like they get to cast and Andreas Forerunners next turn. So I guess I have to take it, but I don't. I don't, I don't know how I'm winning this. Yeah. This is not a good matchup for Enter the God Eternals. Not the good one. Well, they probably should have drawn their card before they just started tapping everything. So, you know, hopefully they have some expensive card that we get to make them. Get rid of, but obviously, like they have the the blast zone's gonna be on two. That'll blow up Croxa, and then yeah, they had finale. And then Uro kills me. The only, the only play that would keep us alive is that Enter the God Eternals. No, we don't have any Ashox.
Save us, Bolas. Yeah, that's a you know may flicker. You don't have to flicker. So they were choosing not to flicker because if they did flicker Uro, then it would it would go back to the graveyard. Dispersal hits the Thassa, not the Krasis. Okay. Oh, that's a cool hand. Mill them out or something? 24 cards? Well, there's all the Nissas. It's good to get rid of those. Candace. Let your weak minds crumble. If I had a hundred more life, could maybe win this. But I don't have anything with Thassa tapping my blockers. So I guess my best chance is... They 
try to tap something and then in response try to tap the other thing. They have to respond to it. Come on. Come on, tap the other thing. Do it. Come on. No. They did not respond. If they would have, if they would have in response, tapped the other thing, then I could have whirlwind denied. <laughs> that could have been cool. That would have been cool. All right. Well, sometimes the, the runs don't go our way. Hey, Avery. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I was not. I was not too impressed with a lot of the cards. Enter the God Eternals, uh, Blood Operative, Discovery, and Grass Rampage. These just don't don't seem like the best things we can be doing in Grixis at all. Um The other day we played this this Grixis midrange deck in best of one, and I think that we just have like some better stuff here. One one I think we need more like Ashiok's nickel boluses, but um, you know like something like Meyer Triton and Lazav to copy. I like those a lot. I love Tyrant Scorn. As far as like, I think Tyrant Scorn is better than Angrass Rampage as far as two mana removal goes. And then get a little bit of counter magic in. Atreus is just awesome. I oh, know. I was more impressed with this this version of Grixis that we played the other day in Best of One. I do think that like there's some good stuff to be doing with Grixis. Um But if you if you think about like what we're doing, so Croxa, whenever you play Croxa to start with, you you know, you hit a card from their hand, but you don't put anything on the battlefield because it goes to the graveyard. Agonizing Remorse gets a card from their hand, nothing goes to the battlefield. Thought Erasure gets a card from their hand, nothing goes to the battlefield. Uh, Discovery, you just kind of fix your draws, nothing, uh, you know, nothing goes to the battlefield. Same with Opt. So, ev like, all, all of these cards in our, in our deck aren't doing anything to the battlefield. So, like, if our opponent's putting stuff into play, we have all this stuff that's not dealing with that. And then, and so we're, you know, naturally we're going to be far behind. And so a couple of, you know, we have a couple one-for-one -one spells with Bedevil, Bonecrusher, Giant, same with Rampage, but if they've already spent a couple of turns putting stuff into play, Rampage isn't going to hit the thing that we want it to. So that's not good. So we're going to be behind, and we only have two Ritual of Soots as as ways to clear out the board. Like, that's not, you know, two Ritual of Soots in, in a 60-card deck, that's just not a very good way to clear out the board whenever all these cards put us behind. Yeah. So I think I think I would rather have, um, you know, I, I want you know another Nicol Bolas, another Ashiok, like that kind of stuff. Um, but I'd rather just have more things that that affect the battlefield. You know, Tyrant Scorn, you know, lets us choose what we want or block. But Meyer Triton is a good way to put cards in our graveyard and gain life and be a good Death Touch blocker. Um, and then even like you know carnival being a cheap removal spell. I'm gonna need to to work on Grixis. I think there's a lot of really cool stuff in, with Grixis. Um, but but I think that you do need to have a lot more things that affect the battlefield and uh, can get you ahead on the battlefield instead of just attacking the hand 
think this works out well against like control attacking the hand all the time but decks that are putting stuff on the battlefield i just don't i don't see how we really keep up with them Um, yeah, yeah, uh, the, yeah, Storm's Wrath, Storm's Wrath's very good. Yeah, that's, that's a good card for sure, too. Um, you know, it doesn't, it's kind of like, like Ritual said, like, it's not killing the bigger stuff, but, yeah, it's another good board wipe. <clears throat> okay, so those are, you know, those are things to think about with our Grixis deck. Um, you know, it's always good to, always get to learn and they're not all going to be, you know, they're not all going to work out. Uh, yeah, there's Davriel in the sideboard for some more hand hate stuff. All right. Um, so that's Grixis Croxa. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, feel free to hit that like button over there and hope you learned some stuff too. Uh, feel free to leave some comments, you know, with, if you're playing Grixis with, uh, the stuff that uh, you know that you're doing well with, um, but that's it here for Grixis Croxa. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.